What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Midtown Doors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope you're doing well. If you're not, well, I hope you get better soon. So let's get into this video real quick. I don't want to make this too long and drawn out, but I want to discuss the new logo. Now, I was all over the place last week, last weekend, uh, posting about May 1st would be the logo change. The old logo, which I'll pop up on the screen right now, well, when I made that thing, I made it as a JPEG, JPEG only. Now, if you know anything about printing, know anything about logos and stuff, it can't be just a JPEG. It won't work on certain things. You can't get rid of the background. You can't, there's, there's a lot, it, it's a mess. Um, there's several different file formats you need in order to make that logo work on things. So I had to I, I wanted to make a change. Um, I've had the same logo for going on 12 years now, 13 years. And so I wanted something different. I wanted to clean it up, wanted to, you know, make it new, fresh. Um, every now and then you have to take a step back and refresh things you're doing and, and make things a little bit better. So I did that, you know, was changing the logo. I, uh, I made things, well, feel a little bit better to me. So here's the new logo. You, you find me on any other social media sites. This is the logo I'm using from here on out. Um, I'm also got something going on with that logo that you'll see in next week's video, which is going to be kind of cool. Next Saturday's video, Tuesday's video coming up will be something even cooler too, but I'm having something made and you will see it very soon. A few people have already seen it and they're like, that's cool, dude. <laughs> so anyway, you'll see it pretty soon too. Um, but I was able to use that logo and I can do much more things with it. Also, because I was able to design that, I've designed a couple other things. Now, if you go to my Mid-10 Outdoor store on Teespring, you'll find the t-shirt where you can buy that logo on in the chest. But I've also made a couple other uh, t-shirts with things I came up with. The first one, I sitting in the office one day and I thought, man, all I need right now is a cup of coffee and some woods. And I was like, that'd be a cool t-shirt. All I need is woods and coffee. Or coffee and woods. I can't remember how it goes. If you go to Teespring, you'll see it. The other one I made up from a joke me and Bill made many, many years ago. We were, I think it was like a second or third time we were off-roading his Jeep. And we hit a rock on his diff. And I said, ooh, it's a diff tickler. And he was like, what? I said, it's a diff tickler. It's like that rock and reaching up and grabbing that rear end and playing with it. So I made the joke of that would be kind of a cool sticker or t-shirt or something where a rock's hand is coming up and it's got hold of your diff on your four-wheel drive. So I made that into a t-shirt. And if you go check it out, you know, if you've got a Jeep and you've hit your share of diffs on stuff, got a t-shirt for you. But anyways, guys, that's the big deal behind it is, you know, I needed, I needed to change it because I couldn't do anything with the old logo. All I could do is make stickers and that's it. I couldn't make anything else with it. And I want to do more things with it. And like I said, next week's video, you will see how far out I have stepped with the logo. So guys, that's it for this one. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you share, subscribe, and like, because there's still a bunch of you that watch the channel that are not subscribed. We want subscribers. I'd like to hit 2,000 this year. I'd like to hit 10,000 this year. I'd like to retire. But anyway, please subscribe. Please share. Please like all those other good things we do. And I appreciate you watching. Be prepared. And hopefully very soon this place will change and this will actually be a studio, not just the garage with a bunch of crap in it. Be prepared. See you on the next one.